Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Veos and boy, I didn't have any time at all to really do anything with the colony stuff. So I figured I'd make a really quick SSTO. Uh, it's got over 3000 Delta V once it gets into orbit. So that's plenty to get to Lathe. Not too sure about coming back from Lathe, although since Lathe has oxygen on it, you could use the rapiers to get up most of the way. And I think Lathe actually has less gravity, a thinner atmosphere. I can't even remember, to be honest. But in those cases, that would probably mean that you could get out of Lathe and come back to Kerbin with a relatively um, plenty of Delta V left over. So here it is, working on the um, very, very simple, simple, I mean like super simple space plane here. We're talking about the the minimalistic uh, uh, interplanetary space plane here. Uh, it's it, all it does is all it does is transport kerbals, right? Which, by the way, it takes almost three years to get to Lathe from Kerbin. So that's three years that the poor kerbals are strapped to their seats. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I would never condemn Kerbals to that kind of trip in something this small. That, that's just, that's just, that's just so mean. I mean, that's just so, so mean. Now, if anything, this kind of craft would be on the side of a very large uh, interplanetary, I almost said intergalactic, interplanetary spacecraft with uh, a spinning ring. You know, it's got eh, it's got somewhat simulated gravity on it, plenty of food, plenty of room to move around. All this other good stuff to keep the Kerbals from absolutely, absolutely losing their minds. Uh, so yeah, uh, no editing on this one, unfortunately. I got, I got, I got to get going. Um, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The colony, colony ship update. Good news is that I do have footage. I was able to get some footage yesterday, and um, now I'm going to make like a little bit of a cinematic again, but it's going to be uh, a type of voiceover cinematic, kind of like at the beginning of the story. And it's going to say the name of the um, colony ship. And, um, you know, it's going to it's going to kind of lay out a type of now, like I said, it's not it's not going to be a story. OK, the Duna colony ship series is going to be a let's play, but it's fun to have some sort of lore in the background. Right. That way you can sort of play along with that, you know. So I'm going to establish what's going on, what's happening, and then uh, put us in uh... must be dusty in this house. Anyway, uh, uh, either that or she's allergic to me. So the, yeah, so the colony ship established some lore in the background. I will be accepting um, crafts from uh, other people. I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I'm thinking more of the long lines like um, you, you guys put it on Kerbal X or something and I'll download it from you. That's an idea, you know, for now. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to try to get that started tomorrow. The Let's Play will probably start around Tuesday. Monday is just a establishing video for what's going to happen and where we're at. The... Uh, the impact video was kind of like the teaser, in, in my opinion, right? It's like, whoa, this just happened. Now the next video that I'm going to put out is going to be like, and this is what's going to happen, or this is where we're at, right? And then I'll start with the Let's Play. So that's that's the idea for, for right now. Good Lord, I'm tired. So here we are. We're about finished with the simple plane, the lathe-capable plane. I know it's capable of going to Lathe. Over 3,000 Delta V. That's plenty. We're going to pick our pilot. She's uh, 
she's well if you looked at the gauge if you hit pause she was mostly mostly stupid <laughs> which this is kind of a you know if you think about it, it's a really stupid mission uh, I, I, it's hard for me to watch SSTOs go to lathe oh SSTO go to lathe and come back because in my mind I, I I see the that three plus years are going by with all these poor little Kerbals inside of a sardine can it's hard three years let's 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 do this real quick picture in your mind okay picture in your mind three mother freaking years three years ago from today was 2018 right 2018 October 31st of 2018 that was three years ago Two th what were you doing October 2018 okay now close your mind not close your mind but close your eyes and think where you were at and what you were doing 2018 and now today 2021 all that time right and if you had left Kerbin just now you'd be getting to lathe all that time imagine now being stuck in your seat for all that time or in a place that's not very big at all maybe the size of a large closet you would lose your shit i'm sorry you would lose your shit unless you had unless you were stoned for the past three years you would lose your shit <laughs> i know uh, that's that's just who so yeah so that, that when i watch videos of that i'm like well that's nice that you got the delta v all figured out and whatnot but yeah, what about the kerbals well what about them now, of course i realize this is supposed to be a kid's game right even though the demographics of the people buying it and and playing it are in their early 20s to mid 30s you know for some reason, uh, the devs still think it's uh, a, a kid's game where, where most of the people playing it are under the age of 18. That's just not the case at all. I mean, just look at the statistics. Google it, for darn sake. Anyway, you can see here I'm trying to go for Lathe, but um, Lathe is way out of, you know, the range of the window to actually go to Lathe. So right now I'm just looking at it like... Um, yeah, it could, it could make it if it really wanted to. Also, that little spaceship that you see going to Duna, that's, uh, that's coming up in the next couple of videos. Uh, I have a name for it. Uh, I know you guys wanted Space Cult, but it's probably not going to be Space Cult. <laughs> I just put that out there because I thought it was cute. I, I saw that in a, in a comment. I was like, oh, that's funny. I didn't think it would be the freaking. I didn't. I didn't think it'd wipe every single name off the map. But no, we, we're not gonna name. We're not gonna name our uh, colony ship Space Cult. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's probably gonna be named New Horizons since that's the second most popular one in the poll. But uh, yeah. Anyway. This is uh, just a real quick, very simple, no RCS, no docking, no nothing. Very simple, easy to build, lathe SSTO for whoever's interested. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this for years, so interplanetary stuff is quite simple. But hopefully, if anything, maybe you guys learned from watching me build it. You know, maybe you're like, huh, I can do this instead of that, you know. And in that case, you know, you're welcome. But, um... Yeah, I have plenty of SSTO building videos. All you got to do is go down the list and and look. Lots of good stuff there. But uh, that's, uh, that's me for now. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos. Signing off and have a good night. Bye-bye.